from the Thomas MX Center here in Las Vegas, we present heavyweight action. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you as Andre Bishop looks to stay perfect as he faces Dwight Cooper. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Confidence coming from Andre Bishop as he starts round up. And a big striking blow to the head by Cooper. And a cut has opened up over Andre Bishop's right eye. Your way is a little bit of a warning, Joe. Things to come. Now you have to be a little bit more cautious, a little more alert. that cut and that's become a very inviting target. He has to make sure that he doesn't only see that cut though because he might get a little over anxious, get a little heavy only on that side. Good jab by Cooper. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. That's a good block by Andre Bishop. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Bishop's got to do something. This is ridiculous. He's not doing anything. What he's doing, I think, is hoping the referee's going to come in and do something for him. Get him out That's of there. Okay. That's okay. Let's go. What's going on. Andre Bishop moving now well against Cooper. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Dwight Cooper's left hook landed the most damaging blow of this fight. And the blood above Andre Bishop's right eye is becoming much more substantial. That's a bad part. Now the corner has to do their work. But the fighter, I usually don't say this, but he has to go out there and not worry about winning this round so much. He has to worry about defense. Don't get touched on that cut anymore. Give the work that the poor man did a chance to get the job done. Get that medicine into the cut. Start of round number two, and you know Dwight Cooper is going to be targeting that cut above the eye of Andre Bishop. The thing you have to question is how much work was the corner of Andre Bishop able to do in curbing that bleeding after the first round? It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cut between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. He's getting rid of that punch from his opponent, well blocked by Andre Bishop. Halfway through round, round number two. Stay away from him! There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Now he ties up there. Good block by Andre Bishop that time. He'd like to see more of that. Flush to the midsection with the hook. You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high trying to protect that cut eye. Andre Bishop's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away.
Final 10 seconds of round number two. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that, say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy or this guy. Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Hey, you got to see that coming. Good Let's luck go. there by Andre Fisher. Keep moving, keep moving. See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You gotta keep those hands up. You have to protect that at butt. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. He scores with the jab. He's tired. He's tired. You know Andre Bishop's trainer is going to be really thrilled to see him do that there. He doesn't want to see his fighter get hit too much tonight. That was a nice block. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good block there by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Scores up top with a left. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And that's the end of round three. I want the combinations. You land in one shot, I need to see three, four punches now, all right? This fight is too fucking close for you to be lazy with our punches. You understand? Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter-puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Fine work with a double jab downstairs. now able to land that left hook to the body against Cooper. Andre Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Halfway through round number four. Counterpunch. Takes a step. 
step back, then the counter punch by, by Andre, Andre Bishop. Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull, pull that shoulder back, the and then come right back with the counter. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. Ten seconds to go in this round. Well, if Bishop can string together a few rounds like that, this is going to be a very easy fight for him. Well, it looks like a confident fight. All that amateur background is really showing. Right? You need now you have to find a way to beat your offense to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab getting off first. Good productive round by Andre Bishop. He really nailed his opponent solid there, and he's getting some high praise from trainer Gus Carissi. Well, he's getting praise. That's the first thing is pick him up a little bit better. Now, now he's going to be told some technical tool. tool. I'm sure he's going to tell me. The guy's hurt. He's going to try to survive. Go downstairs, then go back home. You know, he caught you with your hands who can really come on here in the second half of this fight. Good double, double, double up with the jab by Andre Bishop. It's all right, keep moving. Cooper's defense is paying off now. Working the jam. Good. 
Bishop digging to the body well. Lands a left hand against Cooper's right flank. How about that left hand? Cooper's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times he has shown defense tonight. Other times, like what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he had to do is now make the Keep adjustments. Keep doing what you're doing. White Cooper's hurt by that. A target on his head. Big, big shot he just scored with. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Well, right now, just survived it, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. What's that? Oh, no. left hand comes home. Solid. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, two, three, four, five, six. White Cooper probably thought he had everything going his way early, but it is Andre Bishop standing tall with a knockout victory. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top ten. What are the conditions? He says there, there aren't, aren't any. There's, There's always, always conditions here. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City for our heavyweight main event. event. Tom Kent's ranked Kobe Nichols against Andre Bishop, the comeback kid. Teddy Nichols, number eight in the world, a legitimate heavyweight contender trying to land himself a world championship. Andre Bishop, a former middleweight who went away due to legal problems and now comes back as a contending hopeful in heavyweight division. Oh, who will be the first kind of small guy to be the guy if Bishop wins this fight? You go back in the history of this sport, many smaller guys have moved up the way and been successful. Bishop wants to be added to that list. Nichols is making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his ring intensity. So we are underway between Andre Bishop and Kobe Nichols as Bishop looking to carry that unbeaten streak forward here. Watch the low blow. Well, we've been waiting all week to call this one. Teddy, what kind of fight are you expecting? Well, the kind of guys that they get insulted if you miss them, Joe. That's a good look by right Kobe now. Nichols. What's the concern defensively when you're a speedy fighter, a fast fighter against a power puncher? Usually, Joe, oh, you, you don't, don't want to get caught setting out, out because when, when you're a fast, fast guy, you want to get, get off and you want to get the heck away from, from a guy, guy that's, that's powerful. powerful. Don't, don't get caught, caught backing out. Way to block there. Okay, the both men digging, digging in with, with uppercuts. uppercuts. Keep it clean now. 
Halfway through round number one. Andre, Andre Bishop's giving his opponent hay here now. He's, he's throwing, throwing punches, punches, but he's, he's able, able to block them away. away. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Keep them up. Keep them up. Wow, he got the answer. It was the right. Wow, wow he's defensively, defensively sound. sound. Just 10, Ten seconds, seconds to go, go in this round. round. Wow, wow, what an uppercut. End of the round. Those shots weren't low, guys. I know, kid. I know. But Queen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition. For giving me this fight, I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out. Okay? Keep moving. Keep that dab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs. You got it. I got it. Stay upstairs. that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great... Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. What a big shot. Nichols is crushed by that, and he is down. But he's going to continue on beating the count. Andre Bishop. He's just not going to the body the way he was. He's been called for multiple woes in what appears to be overly officious refereeing in front of us. And this is going to hurt him more than it's going to hurt somebody who depends just on his jab. You know, just on the shots upstairs. He depends on slowing down his opponent by going to the basement. Don't stop! You gotta keep up! We gotta keep up! like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round. Teddy looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. 
He came here with great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Parry's that hey, much intended for the head. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combination is his key to victory tonight. Lands, Lands flush with, with the, the two-punch punch combo by Nichols. Nice, nice block, block by Andre Bishop. He brings it downstairs with the hook. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches in the landing. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Andre Bishop getting it to his opponent's head. head. Nice, nice job, job by Bishop with power punches. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. A big punch by Kobe Nichols. Right hand crashes home. Oh! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Able to get up to his feet after that knockdown, but Teddy, Teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem. problem. Yeah, we're the peak right now into his heart, into his soul. Your best defense to throw on. You need to throw on a set of away. No, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to. Nichols has got to do something different. A start to a new round, maybe the start to a new beginning of this fight. Because what we've seen so far is been nothing, nothing at all for him. Watch, Watch right, right hand to the head. Nichols is clearly affected by that. Bishop's fighting real smart here on the outside. Nichols' defense is now serving him well. Nice jump blocking that punch. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, you're going to rob a bank and you're smoke screen so the, the cars don't, don't see you coming. coming. You want to get, get inside? Use the jab. Nichols' lack of defense right now is showing up. His opponent's scoring with the right hand. Yes, he found his hunger to that early on. And he's just staying with it. Nothing fancy. Good double jab by Andre Bishop. Halfway through this round here. Bob's away with the hook by Andre Bishop. Pops right back with a shot of no. A sharp two punch combination by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop, he's been working hard on that jab, has Bishop, and here he's putting it to good use. Two snapping jab by Andre Bishop. Nichols has got a cut. We can see that he's bleeding from his mouth, and that can be a real problem. People don't realize it, but that can be a big, big problem. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Fresh your body work. It's the body.
Back underway here to live fight action and Huff fight to score. Very, very even, closely contested bout throughout. Straight right hand. Bishop making this like artwork here. Solid shot. The left hand came in. Board well up top. Now look at him. He does. And bang it away. He goes. Wow. He goes down again. This is going to be quite the elevator fight. Up and down all night. <laughs> Poor referee, Andre Bishop, straight away from the body shot. Still, he was able to earn a knockout victory against Kobe Dunham. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother. But I remind you, this meeting was not my idea, it was Raymond's. I need this fight, Jerry. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre, and I didn't, I didn't steal anything. anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won a gold medal. I never, I never had a chance, chance to beat anything else. Never, never had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean it. That's my brother. You owe me the chance to prove myself. Same thing. He's your brother. Well, he's been like a son to me. That's why part of me keeps wondering how the hell did we get to this point? Time to do any good of worry about it. We're here. Raymond is worried. Raymond has wanted this opportunity his entire life. Since the two of you were kids. He's with you, but he wants to shine brighter than you. He wants to get out from under your shadow. So he's gonna fight like hell. He's got something to prove to the world, to himself. You've got to give this 100%. You're not gonna be doing Raymond or yourself any favors by taking it easy on. Or by looking for a way out. You gotta give it 100%. Right, getting back here in our Friday Night Fight studios, Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frog in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. The MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. One of the, one of the most unique fights that we ever on you. Brother against brother. A strange and odd. And the older brother, Andre Bishop, takes on his younger brother, Raymond Bishop. In an eliminator fight. For the winner, a chance to win a champion and a date with Isaac Cross. Teddy? Joe, it's not easy. Not only do you have to blood, 
fighting your own blood. You have to deal with controlling your emotions. But you have to deal with the fact that both these fighters, both these brothers, know each other so well. They've sparred together. They've hung out together. together. They've been in the gym since they were kids. They know all the tendencies of each other. It's going to be like looking in the mirror. Only thing, this time you look in the mirror, you might not like what you see. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch the ball. This isn't their backyard. This isn't a pillow fight. This is brother versus brother for all the marbles. A chance to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Round number one underway. Don't let them get to you. charging middleweight prospects. He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Andre Bishop. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, just kind of have a feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. Here's the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging at there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. You know, what he does is he forces the suit to a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, step back, makes a miss, and comes right back. What a great job! He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there! Let's pick it up, okay? You might be a little crap, but we got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been beating baby Bishop ever since you wanted to go, man. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own, man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend. As Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. Glad to be here with you. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Tonight, Isaac Frost puts the belt up 
against Raymond Bishop. Uh, of course, Frost, one of the most intimidating forces in this sport. A pure power puncher, Teddy, if there ever was one. Yeah, Bishop's gonna have to go back and look at some of those alley listen tapes. You know, Frost is kind of like a listen, very intimidating, very strong. Bishop's gonna have to do the same thing Alley did in beating Liston. Not be intimidated by him, go out there, show him who the boss is, but at the same time, stay away, be smart. Isaac Ross ring walks have become the stub of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. Okay guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. The start of round one for the heavyweight title between Isaac Cross, the champ, and the inspired champ. Oh, and there you go! He goes down from a big right hand! Great work by Isaac Frost. Too many of those punches by Isaac Frost, and this night's gonna be over. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at his pace, he's not gonna be around to worry. Keep going! Keep going. Oh, An ugly situation has developed here. The paramedics are rushing, rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Lisa. Bishop is absolutely motionless. This is a movie that we need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened today? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Listen, I'm not gonna cry. Every time some clown gets hurt. Right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into a stupid ass. He'll deal with whatever he wants. Get 
hit me in the ring with force. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly, ugly things. things. That's all for now. But please. please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. My father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Calm down. She, she doesn't, doesn't know, know anything. Don't fuck with me, Queen. Nobody can prove anything. If you were against the next con, we're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even, even though, though both, both fighters, fighters wanted, wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it. I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to... Two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, fine boxer, fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce... DL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight... The champion has been demanding the fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. We welcome you to Las Vegas where the heavyweight championship of the world is on the line. Isaac Frost looks to defend his title against Andre Bishop. Joe Tessator and Teddy Atlas with you ringside, and who would have ever thought we would see this in the career of Andre Bishop? But the comeback kid, now looking for revenge. They say it's best served chill. Here it's red hot. We know what happened to his younger brother Raymond. He was beaten down by Isaac Cross. Now Andre tries to save the family name. Well, we also know that, of course, emotions are high. Of course, you want to be passionate about what you do. You want to get after somebody, but in this sport of emotions, to be your worst enemy. He's got to control those emotions. Isaac Frost making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. Questions from the challenger. Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. How's little Raymond 
Okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch him. This, this guy is a freaking animal. animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. I let, let him tire himself, himself out. out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid! This guy's a friggin' animal! You see what he done to Ryan? Use your feet! Keep your hands up! Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated! I guarantee you! Got it, Gus.